Hey guys, it's Cassie from Gun Grooming and today we're going to talk about DIY dog nail clipping that you can do at home. Keep watching. Hello everyone. So if you're new here, my name is Cassie. I post weekly grooming videos on YouTube. I've been grooming since 2009. I own a grooming shop and a mobile van in New Jersey. So in our state, a lot of groomers are closed due to the virus. And the number one question that we have been getting is nail trimming. How can I clip my dog's nails at home? So today I'm gonna show you with my two dogs, but as a professional, I will say it is a lot easier to clip other clients' dogs' nails than it is my own dogs because they know how to pull your heartstrings. So the two dogs that I have today are my 12-year-old and my five-year-old. One is a little bit easier than the other, but they both have a mixture of black nails, white nails, and clear nails. So as a disclaimer, if you're going to do any of this at home, please, please, please be careful and do this at your own risk. So here are the five things that we're gonna be talking about today and I will go into detail as the video continues. Number one is the equipment. Nail clipper, sandpaper, Dremel, and cornstarch or styptic if you have it. Number two is your demeanor. Your body language and your approach is everything. Number three is the techniques and the maneuvers. How do you hold them? Number four is how to clip and praising at the right time. And number five is the solution. What do you do if you clip too much? So we'll go over everything in detail today. If you have a small dog, and you would like to see how to trim them on a higher surface, you can click right above here and that'll bring you to that video. So depending on the size of your dog and their nails, you can use many things. You could do a nail clipper, and this is a larger one, this is a smaller one. You can also use a nail file, you guys can sit on the couch and just slowly file their nails. You can also do sandpaper. Sandpaper works fine. Use whatever grit that you would like. And sometimes I'll use a block. Please don't go out to the store unless you really need to. You can find some of these things in your shed, your closet. So you wanna find out what the correct size is for your dog. Since I have bigger dogs, I'm going to be using the bigger one. The one thing is about these type of clippers is they come with this flap that goes on the back and that flap is called a guard. I hate the guard. I don't trust the guard. You don't stick the nail all the way in and then slice because it's just going to cut too much off the nail. So what you want to do is cut in little slivers and we're going to go through and show different types of ways and techniques to do so. The next step is your demeanor, your approach on how you're going to do this. Be calm. The dog is going to pick up on your emotions, whether you're stressed, or you're angry, or you're frustrated. They're gonna pick up on it and they're going to react to your reaction. So stay calm. If you need a couple of breaks, take a couple of breaks because your dog is going to know that you're mom or dad and they're gonna do everything that they can to wiggle and jiggle and make you stop. So the goal is, is to keep calm, but also be in charge. So this one here is Leah. She doesn't like getting her nails cut. So we're gonna see all the maneuvers that we can do today to help her out. And this guy down here is dude and he's 12 and we're gonna try different maneuvers with him. He's easier to get his nails cut. By the first day she thinks, no honey, we're not going anywhere, I'm sorry. So this here is a regular leash. I'm gonna take the latch part and the loop part and we're gonna stick this through. And this is for if you're doing this alone or you need some extra help. So we're just gonna tighten. And as you can see, it'll tighten around my wrist. Now you can either do this around their neck like so, but if you don't feel comfortable that way, then you can take one arm, put it through, and this is gonna tighten and hold them in place. So I'm gonna take this loop that I have created, put it around his neck. I'm gonna take this end and I'm gonna put it out my door. Pardon my door, we're doing construction in my house. But now that you can see, I put that latch through the door and now if I need, if they can't move. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and put this underneath his arm. So this side of the strap is on his neck here 
and this side of the strap is underneath his arm. So if he goes and tries to leave, we have everything connected so that he can't. But with him, I don't need this technique for him because he allows me to do his nails. So if I were to take my knee, I would put his back end on my knee and therefore I can pick his paws up like this. I'm just flipping up the back of his feet and I can trim his feet that way. He is better off with him laying on the floor because that's gonna make him feel more comfortable. So I'm gonna do all of his nails this way. He's gonna wanna move and jiggle just a little bit, but he understands that he'll get something when he's all done. And then if you do have a dog that keeps on getting up and laying down, getting up, laying down, then you want to use the leash that we hooked up to a door. I really wouldn't use a window, I would use the door. So we're gonna take our nail clipper and we're gonna go this way with the nail clipper. And then I have here a Dremel for if I wanna use it, you guys can use sandpaper or you can try a Dremel, just be very careful. In case you do cut a nail short, I do have styptic and I also have cornstarch that you can use if you see any blood. If you do see blood, just stay calm. The dog's gonna pick up on your reaction and then you're just going to have to do this all over again. So I'm just giving him a minute to sit here and relax because he knows what's gonna happen, but I don't want him to freak out. Okay, so we're gonna get the bottoms of the nails here so we can see how much we're taking off. Okay, good boy. Now you see I only took a little bit. See how it's still white in there? I'm gonna take more. Lay down, you're good. You're doing a good job, buddy. Now this may not be a maneuver that you're gonna use, but this is the maneuver that's best for him so that I can be right next to him and pet him. So we're gonna take a little bit more and we're gonna say good boy. See how it's a little bit darker? Technically, I can take a little bit more. I wanna leave it there and if I wanna grind it later, I can. If I wet it a little bit, see how the gray pops out? So I wanna stop there. So let's go to the next nail and somebody's being a good boy. And that noise that you hear in the background is his tail wagging. So we're gonna go to this nail. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Shh. And like I said, take some slivers at a time. So I have my first finger right back here that is actually holding my clipper in place, if you can see what I'm talking about, my finger here is holding the nail. And I'm placing my clipper on top of my finger and we're trimming. What a good boy. Good boy. Now if I wet that surface, you're gonna see a little black or gray inside there. If you do see pink, then I would stop immediately. If you see any red, dab a little bit of cornstarch on there and start praising them. Okay, we're gonna do this nail here. It's okay, I got you, bud. So I'm gonna go to this nail right here and we're gonna go little by little. See that gray dot that's right there? We're gonna stop there because we've seen the gray dot. Not all dogs have this gray dot but we're gonna stop there. So let's go to the dew claw. You're being a good boy. And we're gonna take a little bit. Go little by little. See that black? We're gonna stop. Gray black, we're gonna stop. Now we're gonna stop. Now I'm gonna just show you, see how it's still white? I'm gonna go a little bit more. Oh, that one's a close one. That was a good boy. If you can't do your dog's nails on the floor, you can use a couch or a recliner or a higher surface to do their nails. I'm using my couch. And I'm just snipping sliver by sliver. I'm not taking a bunch out at a time.
So this here is my little girl, Leah. She is five years old. She may be a little bit difficult. We're gonna see what we can do as maneuvers to try to help her. So you may see her act a certain way and sometimes emotions can heighten when they act a certain way. And dogs like to do this to say, I don't wanna. Just like a kid in a supermarket, they stomp their feet because they wanna get what they want. And you have to keep calm. And dude already got his nails cut, so he, mm -hmm. good girl. So we have her hooked up to the leash that we did before so that if she tries to run away, she can't. So I'm using a different maneuver, which is not choking her. It's just keeping her into place. If you have a regular door handle, you can wrap it around if you would like. Some people don't recommend doing this. That is your choice if you wanna do your dog's nails at home. Because I know how she's going to be. This is the best that we're going to do. So she's got some black and she's got some clear white. So what Leah's gonna do now is she's gonna put up a hissy fit. And the best thing to do with a hissy fit is don't touch them. You wanna give them the hissy fit and when she is sitting still, good girl. We're just gonna praise her. So we're gonna do the same. And this is just the way of getting nails cut. So now that she's being calm, I can praise her and I can pet her. And then we're gonna do one nail at a time, okay? So I'm not gonna give in to this jumping around thing. I'm just gonna let her do her thing and not pay attention to her because this is exactly what she wants us to do is give in. See how now she's just hanging out? This is, uh, this is, it looks like it's not normal. This is actually very normal. A lot of dogs do this. So we're gonna give her time, but I cannot, I cannot give in to this because she wants the attention. She wants me to stop and I'm not stopping. This it sometimes will take you a process, but the dog will calm down. The dog will allow you to do it. You just have to do it little by little. So with this paw that I have in my left hand, since she's sitting still, I'm gonna say that she's a good girl, but she has to stay. So what I just did was I took her wrist and I pulled it down a bit and waited for her to stop jumping and leaping. And stop jumping. So I'm literally gonna cut. If she's gonna jump, shh, shh. If she's gonna jump, I'm gonna hold this paw right where it's at. I'm gonna hold it. You will, yep, she's. Again, she's very difficult. So the noises that you hear are her, but if I put my hand to her mouth, she's not gonna bite me. Yes, you did fine. I don't recommend yelling at them because it's just gonna make matters even stressful. She is actually fine for this Dremel. And if you have sandpaper at home and you wanna do sandpaper, you can. See, look at this. Like, she's not growling. Like it's, I don't know if it feels good to her, but she actually, she actually prefers it than she does nail clipping. See how she was jumping around before? And now it's like she's just calm. Isn't that weird? But if I take the nail clipper out and I start, she starts doing that. Every dog is going to be different with this procedure, but I, Calm down. So now we're gonna try the maneuver with two people. I have Leah's back and my husband is up front. So you can use two people with this maneuver if you would like, but everything is your choice. So he's gonna hold her right in place. And I'm just gonna snip from the back. Come here, that was a good girl. 
Very good. Bye. See you later. So I didn't clip anyone's nails short and the goal was not to clip their nails short, but they both did a good job as best as they can. Today we showed you guys how to do some DIY nail trims. Of course, not every technique is going to be to your liking or the maneuver may or may not work for you. Just keep calm, be easy with them and try not to yell at them and scold them, but you can try different maneuvers like the leash, or you can have two people and hold them that way. So everyone, please be safe and I will see you guys next week. So this here is a regular leash that uh, Leah thinks that we're doing a W-A-L-K, which we're not doing right now, sweetheart. So with a regular leash, I'm gonna take the two ends here, which one, <laughs> which one is a loop and the other one is the latch. Leah, please stop pulling on the leash. 